My name is Serge Larivière. I'm the Director General of the Cree Hunters and Trappers Income Security Board. Right now, we're at the head office in Quebec City. This is where we oversee the operation of this organization. Throughout the James Bay area, there are 10 established Cree communities, which range from northern Abitibi all the way to Wapmagstu, which is the northernmost community. Nine of them are accessible by road, and one is only accessible by plane. In each community, we have a staff person who oversees the program locally, and all the files of all the beneficiaries of the program are then sent to the head office in Quebec City, where we manage the files. Basically, with the new developments and the new economy generated in the James Bay Territory, there was a fear that the Cree people would lose their connection to the land. As such, this program was established to provide an income guarantee, financial incentives, if you will, to help people who choose harvesting activities as a way of life. Right now, we have about 1,200 families, which amount to about 2,200 adults that are currently enrolled on that program. For these families, this program is especially important because of the challenges created by the higher cost of equipment, gas, transportation in the northern areas. And this program allows these people to continue harvesting activities on their traditional land. When the Cree people are hunting, fishing, trapping, harvesting berries, or performing any traditional activities, they're not only reconnecting with the land, they're reconnecting with the culture, they're practicing their language, they're strengthening the ties with their families, and they're also exercising. So it's healthy in many aspects. And this is why we're very proud to try to help promote and maintain participation to traditional activities. Over the last 35 years, our main focus has been to provide financial incentive for families we provide money for people who go and pursue harvesting activities as a way of life. However, during the last few years, we've realized that there may be other ways to promote traditional activities. One such measure has been the production of a magazine dedicated to promote traditional activities for Cree hunters and trappers. Basically, we're trying to raise the profile of traditional activities. We want to portray and talk about these activities because we realize that in today's environment, Kids go to the internet, they go to magazine to try to generate their own interest and find information. And this is why we're very proud of this, uh, this new measure. As a trapper myself, it's very rewarding to work for such a noble cause. Throughout North America right now, we're worrying about the loss of species, the loss of diversity. But one thing we're forgetting is that we are losing diversity of cultures and diversity of languages. The Cree people, when they go in the bush to hunt, to trap, to pick berries, that's when they speak Cree. And by preserving their traditional lifestyle, their traditional culture, we're also helping them preserve their language. And that to us is also an important benefit of this program. And our belief is that young Cree people who experience traditional activities will grow up, get a job somewhere, live their life, and at least be familiar with the lifestyle that was so important for their ancestors. It's a way for them to connect with their culture, preserve the ties with their family, preserve their language, and exercise and participate in the way of life that was so important for their ancestors and all the generations before them.